A former West Jordan High School teacher arrested and charged with raping one of his 16 year old students. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson checked in with parents today. And Lucy, I am sure the news came as a shock to many. Yes, very shocking. I've spoken with a handful of parents here in disbelief over what happened beyond these walls here at West Jordan High School. He came home and he said uh, that one of his teacher's uh, rooms were taped up with caution tape. Not the typical after school report. A parent like Steve Lewis wants to hear from their son. This teacher was a favorite of, of a lot of students and it's shocked a lot of a lot of kids. His son's history teacher, 32 year old Matthew Rukert, was arrested Thursday and charged with raping a 16 year old student. The probable cause says the investigation found he abused her several times between November last year and this February. Uh, it's, it's heartbreaking. Um, very concerned, you know, what happens to uh, kids in classes and once you release them to go inside those doors. The victim told police the crimes mostly happened in Rickert's classroom. You hope you have full trust in teachers and administrators that they take care of your kids. Yeah. So, and my little girl, she's just in third grade, but we're, you know, it's concerning. West Jordan Police Sergeant Kendall Holt said now is the time for parents to check in with their children. We would encourage any, any additional victims to come forward and contact us if they'd like to speak with us. Lewis and another mother I spoke with off camera told me it was frustrating to hear the news from their children, not the school. I'm over that high school pretty regularly, three times a day almost, and there's no, you know, warnings or anything, you know, nothing to, maybe that could help the parents out. I asked communications director Sandra Reesgraf about it, and she said they are coordinating messaging with the police department to avoid compromising the ongoing investigation. Meanwhile, Lewis says he hopes it doesn't affect the students' learning. Hopefully the... Uh, they can the students can have confidence in the the school and believe that they're in a safe environment. Reesecraft tells me Rukert was placed on administrative leave on February 21st and he is no longer employed by the district. She says all allegations were responded to immediately by school staff and police and the investigation is still ongoing. Live in West Jordan, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.